Don't you know? Uh, all right, yeah, good. Um, let's go. It's Jet versus Zaythold. Um, Zaythold? Zaythold? Zaythold. Zaythold, I think. Uh, and this this is Jet. Jet. Um, yeah, we're in the top left of Babylon and in the bottom right it's Zaythol. So we are, of course, best of three. This is a winner's bracket game. Um, and uh, yeah, both of these guys know how to play. They, they know how to put together a build. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens here. Um, looking uh, pretty, pretty similar on both sides of the map so far. Both of them sort of walling off at the top of the ramp, which is fine. Um, I don't know if the camera picked out that. <laughs> it's just like a massive fly. Just buzzed past my head. I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, uh, it's Jet with a slightly, uh, a slightly uh, quicker gas, I think. Um, uh, yeah, but it's double gas from Zaythal. So uh, he'll quickly catch up on that front. We've got a reactor coming down on the single barracks for jet um and bear in mind reactors take a fair old while to build so throwing that down on your very first barracks um of course interrupts marine production uh so oftentimes i prefer to to put that the, the reactor on the second barracks that i'll throw it on but it doesn't really matter it's fine um a reactor is cheaper than a barracks but it takes longer to build i think i think anyway um no matter, uh, it is factory, um, so, you know, single racks, factory armory is looking interesting. <gasps> is this gonna be a Thor push? Please tell me this is a Thor push. Oh, I'd love, to, I would love for this to be a Thor push. Um, but if it is going to be Zethel, your supply blocked, you need to get the depots down. I have a feeling that's what he's going for. He's getting plus one attack, but he's supply blocked. That's so unfortunate um i should have spotted it with the early double gas you do have to thors are so so pricey in supply they're six supply each i think so you have to if you are going for the really early thor push um one of the things you've got to do is make sure you've got enough free supply um you need a lot of gas as well the main thing that holds it up is you can't build a Thor until you've got an armory and you can't build an armory until you've got a factory. So the Thor is out, but it's not moving across the map yet. So I don't know about this. And even if it did, there are a lot of Marines on the other side. Um, so this many Marines, you know, would, would just focus the Thor down, I think, too quickly for it to achieve anything. Now, with that said, uh, let's see how this engage goes. So the Thor is moving out. Um, Zaythal needs to get the Marines forward as well. The SCV's not actually repairing, they're just standing near the Thor. Oh no, no. So you have to tell the SCV's to repair. Um, what you can do is you can grab an SCV and, and you can right click the repair button. If a unit is damaged and you grab your SCV's and right click on that unit, they will repair it. But if the unit isn't damaged, they won't. And, and they won't start to repair it if it then becomes damaged. So what you need to do is right click the R um, and that auto casts repair. You can auto cast a few things uh, and you kind of see the symbol of it kind of rotating. Um, so yeah, you, you need to get your SCVs on, on with repair auto cast and then right click on the Thor and they will follow the Thor then. And as soon as it's damaged, they will repair it. Uh, the only thing you've got to be careful about there is if the SCVs themselves take damage, they will um, repair each other. And once they start a repair, they won't switch to another thing. So if the SCVs are damaged, they'll start repairing each other. And if the Thor then takes damage, they'll finish repairing each other first. Um, which, so you need to tell them, you know, don't be repairing each other. Uh, so again, these SCVs, are they actually repairing them or not? Um, are they though? No, I don't think they are. I think the health of this Thor is going one way. Um, no, they're not, you see. So uh, I, I don't know, is this gonna be enough? There is a bunker here. Now that the SCVs, are on this they're not though the SCV's still not repairing they thought you need that repair you need it um but thor's deal out such meaty meaty damage i mean look how quickly the things with this bunker um this next batch of marines might be enough there's only one s oh no they're up there's three scvs still but they're not repairing oh no 
oh, it's a disaster. You've got to have that repair happen and you have to. The other thing you can do um, is you can drop mules to help repair as well. Uh, and bear in mind, just like mules mine faster than SEVs, they also repair faster than SEVs. So uh, let's see what the way out of this looks like. There are two Thors here at home for Zethel. And if he can get the repair off on those, they will hold quite a lot of Marines. Uh, let's have a look at the upgrades tab. Uh, so it's combat shield, stim, and plus one. So those are actually pretty decent Marines the Jets got. But what they're missing desperately is a medevac to heal them. Now, there's a tech lab on this, uh, which is a bit weird because you don't need a tech lab for medevacs. Um, and you'd really rather have the reactor so you can get these medevacs up two at a time. Uh, this is not that many Marines, but they are reasonably good Marines. And I think plus one armor is done. So these are one one Marines against a plus one attack Thor. And really, uh, oh, is it plus one attack? It's plus one armor, that's good. Um, I was about to say, you, you're much better off with the armor for the Thor because it packs such a meaty punch that, that adding one to it doesn't make that much difference. Oh, he's just shot his own SCVs. That was pretty savage. Thor just turns around and absolutely mullers an SCV. Now, uh, this bunker has nothing in it and it's actually going to die with nothing in it. The Thors, you've got to be a bit careful. They will preferentially target air, which is kind of annoying. The siege tanks, so oh my god, the siege tanks are one health, literally one, literally one health. Um, that's pretty savage. So he just didn't quite have enough to break. Uh, I think Zaythal, it's, you know, the build is solid. If you push with the Thors and you arrive at before five minutes, you've got a good chance of success so long as they're being repaired. If it hasn't worked by the six minute mark, you do need to change course uh, because it's not gonna work now. Now that there's siege tanks and stuff out, um, you're just gonna be in too much trouble trying to push with the Thor uh, because the siege tank splash damage will kill the repairing SCVs. Um, and that's not going to do you any good. This drop could just end the game because I don't think Zephyr has anything at home, really. He's only got these couple of Thors there on the other side of the map. Is there a Thor at home? There isn't. There's just nothing here. Oh, there is. One's just popped out, but I think it may just leave as these medevacs come in. Now, the rest of the Thors are coming home. Let's see what this drop gets done. Oh, the Thor isn't reacting just yet. So actually the drop is gonna clean up roughly all of the SCVs in the mid. CC goes down and with no SCVs to repair the Thor, the Thor's gonna go down in quick order too. Now the other daddy Thor's come back. This one isn't actually doing any shooting. This one uh, eventually joins the fray. It is gonna be a clean up and uh, Jet is gonna lose these medevacs if he doesn't boost them out of there. Boost them out of there. That's, there you go. Um, <laughs> Those are 100, 100 each, you know, medevacs are not cheap. As a general rule, if you're being pushed by medevac marine, uh, you quite often focusing the medevac down is the best thing you can do. And that that can be a painful choice to make because it's the marines that are shooting, but marines just have so much more value when they're being uh, beat up by medevacs. Where it's always worth just sniping the medevacs first than dealing with the marines. Um, and it also means that the Terran player can't just lift those marines and move them into your natural or whatever. So generally you want to focus on the medevacs. Um, interesting game, uh, but it is Jet, and it, it's got to be said, with, with actually pretty solid play, he did put out a reasonable army, reasonably well upgraded. He's got siege tanks, he's got medevac support. It was never going to be that easy a push in, into that ramp. Um, so it's Jet that goes 1-0, GG.